Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am actually going to attempt to do the one dip makeup challenge. So if you haven't seen this before, it's basically just using one dip, so like one dip into the eyeshadow to do both eyes, one dip with the foundation to cover my entire face and so on. And I thought this was quite fun to see exactly how pigmented certain things are and how much product you can actually pick up in just one dip. So yeah, I think I have a feeling some of these may go a little better than others. Like eyebrows I am actually terrified of doing because I normally go in and out of that so many times. And I've tried to use products that either have a doe foot applicator, so like liquid lipstick type thing, or that you only have to sort of dip your brush into once. So, so I've tried to stay away from like squeezy cheese because you can just sort of get out as much as you want. But anyway, that is enough of me talking. I'll go get straight into the video and see how this turns out. So first I'm going in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in one and this is one of the ones with a doe foot and I actually really like this foundation, I just don't use it that often because it is slightly too dark for me but I did get a bit of sunburn the other day so I'm hoping it may be a bit better this time and like I said it's just a doe foot so I've got to try and do my entire face with just one. quite a thick foundation so I'm hoping that this will be enough to cover everything. I'm really trying to like get it all off this so I have as much to work with as possible. I think that's all I can get out and then I'm using the Spectrum B01 brush and I really like this brush. I just find it's really good for foundation and it sort of blends in but yeah just really like it. I forgot how quick this foundation dries. I want to be like super quick to try and get it to blend. You know what? That's actually probably enough foundation to do my entire face. There are places where I probably put slightly more, like along my jawline here, but you know. That ain't part of the challenge. Oh, I forgot how nice it is actually. It just gives that like a little bit of a glow to your skin. So it's not like perfectly matte. It's not showing that up on camera but it is there. So actually I think that was enough foundation to like do my entire face. I mean it all looks covered from what I can see. And for concealer, even though that is a foundation and concealer in one, I don't really think I've got enough like under my eyes and things. So I am going to use concealer and this is the Revolution Conceal and Define. And this is in C1 which I think is one of the lightest that they do. I don't think it's quite light, I think there is one that's slightly lighter. Which makes a change for me because I normally use just the very lightest shade or anything. Again it's a doe foot so I'm just going to do a couple of blobs. Where uh, I feel like I need a bit more coverage a little bit. I always get like this bit like of my eye. On a little bit on my eye actually. But I always do that inside because I always get a lot of discoloration there. And I found that nothing really covers it unless I do the concealer like straight away like now because like even foundation doesn't seem to cover it there for some reason I have no idea why so if anyone has any ideas of what I can try like that very very like in the corner against my nose please let me know because I would love to know what I can use to sort of cover that up because it's so hard to cover up and it's a really awkward place to get into as well with like a brush it's like this brush is way too big for that I feel like I'm in such a chatty mood today as well. I don't know why. I just feel like talking, which is actually quite unusual for me because I'm not really like a really chatty person. I mean, obviously I have my moments like today. So I'm really sorry if this video is going to be like really rambly and me just talking rubbish. I just want to talk. So you can talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you're up to. How are you getting on with everything? You know, just start a conversation, basically. 
that's the concealer. That, obviously that's a really thick concealer so you only need like a tiny amount anyway. Which I really like because I don't like covering myself with like tons and tons of makeup when I'm wearing it. Especially like base makeup. It just annoys me. Because like I said in previous videos I don't really like powder in my face. It just, I don't think it suits me. And it always just seems to get really cakey and then I hate it. I think I'm going to go in with eyes next. Which is what I normally do. I normally do like the base pretty much. And then eyes and then go back with like highlighter, blusher and all that. So for eyes I'm going to take the Anastasia Novena palette. Which is this one. I don't really use it that much. I've maybe used it twice. And I'm still a bit like, mm, do I really like it or not? But I am thinking of maybe doing the random numbers generator thing with it. Just to see what looks like I can get. But anyway. I'm going to take this one here which is a soul, this like purpley shade and I'm hopefully going to be able to put this on both eyes and I'm going to use the MAC 217S brush so I'm just going to pick up as much as I possibly can on this brush and I know these are pretty pigmented as well tap it off, right not entirely sure how to do this I suppose just like put Dab it a little bit. I cannot go back in and touch it up, even though I really want to. I really want just like a little bit more pigment on it. Which is why I really put the base down. Like I don't normally really put a base down for eyeshadow. Because I just find it creases on my eyes. But I felt like I needed like that stickiness today. Really nice purple. Why have I not used it before? This is what I do with palettes. I use like a couple. I think I might actually go in with Love, which is the pink one I was just saying about, with the same brush. And once again, just sort of load it up. It's so hard to like to try and get as much on it as possible. But this I'm just going to put all over my lid. You know what? Actually, I think I've got way too much eyeshadow on this brush now. I feel like I'm pulling a really funny face doing this. I've got my head like too high up. I'm using a different mirror today. I normally have one that's like stood up next to me. I've had to clear it out so I've chucked out boxes and I've chucked out the box I needed to sit it on. So, can't do it about that one. So that is that. I'm actually going to use my finger just to sort of like blend it slightly at the edges. Because I feel like I've still got a little bit too much of the eyeshadow on the actual brush. Actually, I'm going to use this one. Oh, at the minute it looks really messy, but I'm not done because I have a little secret weapon to sort of hide the messiness. And now I'm going to take this MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in Love Yourself, which is this pinky colour. It's got silver flakes in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got this for Christmas. And this again is a dry foot, so I'm going to put this on the inner corner of both eyes, sort of to cover up that pink, but like you'll still be able to see it through, if that makes sense. And now I'm going to take like a flat brush to sort of blend it out a little bit. Just so the edges aren't quite so harsh. It does actually dry pretty quickly so you have to work quite quick. But I actually really like them and that was more than enough on that one swipe. Whatever it's called. But then for the very inner corner I'm going to take... I'm going to take the Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights which is this and this is in crystalline then that's how you say it. it's just like a silvery clear i thought this might look quite cute on the inner corner so i'm gonna try it i've not actually used this shade before but again it's another liquid oh it's got like purpley bits a little more silver in the thing that's quite 
cute. Obviously, camera's not picking up again. I will do like a full zoom in thing so you can see everything after. Now I'm going to do brows next and I'm actually terrified of doing this. So for brows, I'm going to use the Isla Brow Pomade. This is what I use all the time. But I thought maybe a pomade? Because you can sort of load up your brush a bit, it might work for both. I think I've done too bad a job with that. I mean, this one is definitely not as dark as the other. For doing one dip into that pomade, I don't think I've done that bad. And maybe I'm using way too much when I keep going back into the pot every time. I'm not completely happy with them, but they'll do, considering what I'm trying to do. And now on to mascara. I'm using the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I'm reading it upside down, which is stupid which is this. I really like this one actually. I've used it quite a bit. Going back over the lashes that I've already dried with sort of like another coat, but it's really just whatever is left on this, which at this point is not a lot. You know what? That's probably about the best. Actually, in camera, they don't actually look that bad. I'm quite surprised. But anyway, that is up for eyes. Zoom you back out a little bit. And now onto face. I'm going to start with, what's it called? Contour. I don't normally do a lot of contour really, but I thought I might as well for this. So I'm using the Rimmel Radiance Brick, which is this here. And from what I remember, this is quite pigmented. So I'm hoping sorry if it keeps going really blue as well i have no idea why and it's really annoying me but so we're just gonna load up the brush oh not much things are coming off and i'm just really going for these like middle shades so just sort of dot it down like that and then blend and i forgot my mirror i was trying to use the viewfinder then just to blend it but you know got way too much on that side Oh no. Can you see that? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> no amount of blending's helping. And that side there's like nothing on it. This side is just brown. Well, that didn't go to plan. How am I supposed to fix that? I'm going back over with the brush I used for foundation, just sort of trying to diffuse it. Well, that didn't work, but anyway. Next, for blusher, I'm using this, which is my absolute favourite. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher in Ecstasy. I absolutely love this, and it's such a good shade. Look at that. But, once again, oh, it is extremely pigmented. I normally just use, like, the outside of it, but I'm going to have to sort of use it all I use the other side of the brush now to sort of blend it all again <laughs> way too much I forgot how pigmented it is I'm just going to like dust it a little bit over my forehead nose 
I actually quite like that like quite pink nose look at the minute. And now for highlighter, I'm actually using the Rach Loves with Pixie Beauty. And this is a layers highlighting palette in Glow On. I've not used this yet and I am so excited to try it. So this is what it looks inside. So many highlighters to choose from. This purple one in the middle is gorgeous. That actually would have gone really well with my eyes, but it's a bit late for that. So I'm going to take, oh I don't know. I might take Clutch, which is this one here. It's like a champagne-y colour, which I feel might look a bit better for me. You can never use another shade on top. I mean, it's a different shade, so I don't know. I'm going to use this one, which is tea. It's more golden. picked up for a bit more you can see that there that is actually a really nice shade i don't normally go for like really golden shades but i quite like it just as contour and blushes awful now for lips i need to use a little liner but it, i don't know that really counts or not i was gonna go for it i've done really well and this is the mac will lip liner so that is that done i can't do liquid lipstick without liners though and then for lipstick I'm using the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte and this is in Perfection. Absolutely love this and one of my friends actually bought it for me and I've used it so much. She knows me so well. Obviously it's liquid so it's got a doe foot. that i love this shade of lipstick and a liquid lipstick it's really easy to just use one little bit but anyway this is my finished look as you can see the contour and blusher has gone terribly there were no other words for it apart from that um i actually quite like how the eyes turned out they actually turned out a lot better than i thought they were going to especially the brows i mean this one is definitely more i don't know what the word is shaped yeah shaped than this one you can see where it's like a bit hard but anyway so that is all of it as you can see contour and blush is just awful so just ignore that pretend that didn't happen but I thought this was actually quite a fun challenge to do and it was actually a little bit, bits were hard and bits were easier than I thought they were going to be. Especially like the brows and my eyeshadow. That was actually a lot easier to do than I thought it was going to be. It's just, I can't get over this contour on this side. It's so bad. But, oh well, I tried. <laughs> So I hope you liked this little video and I hope you found it quite fun and if you have a go at this yourself I'd love to see what you turn out. Your contour and blush has definitely got to go better than mine. So I hope you did like it, if you did please get a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as I'm hopefully going to be back to once a week uploading new content and everything for you. I have so many ideas of things I want to do but some of them I need someone with me and obviously that's not possible right now so I'm trying to do as much as I can on my own. So yeah, I hope you liked this video, please subscribe if you did, and I'll see you soon another. Bye!